Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm gonna showing you guys a bunch of awesome PhotoP features that you probably didn't know were even a thing. And these features are gonna help you be a better designer. It's gonna make your experience a lot better in PhotoP and it's gonna make your work way more efficient. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so once you get into PhotoP, it's gonna look like this. And all you wanna do is go up to more up here and you can see there's a button called theme. Basically, theme lets you change what PhotoP actually looks like. So you can change it to light mode, which I don't know why you would want to do that, but you can do it. You can change it to black, which personally, this is my favorite one. It's basically just dark mode. And you can change it to iron blue, which is a little bit different, but it's still really nice looking. Snow white, which I call that the eye destroyer. And we got Danish purple. And I like this one a lot too, it's pretty cool as well. And those are some easy little features that you can change to make it look a little bit cooler, but that's completely up to you guys and you can just revert it back to the original if you want to as well. Also in the more section, you can even go up to language and change the language to whatever else. So I know some of you guys are from different places around the world, so you can go here and change it if you don't speak English that well. That's also a good feature as well. You can also remove ads by going up here to account and purchasing the premium version, but this is completely up to you. I know a lot of you guys don't have the money and that's why you're using Photopea in the first place, but if you really use it a lot and you want to get rid of the ads, well here you go. You can get rid of the ads and get its full functionality, which comes with more steps in the history, which this is the history box over here, so you're able to go back further, but that's another little feature that I think is pretty cool. Another awesome feature you can do is you can actually bring in rulers. So if you go up to view and go to rulers, you can bring in these little rulers, which help you with your dimensions. And if you hold left click on one of them, you can drag out a little line and you can do it again. And this will help you line up your designs and make sure it's really precise. I think that's a really cool one. And especially if you're trying to be really specific, like a t-shirt design or something, this is gonna come in handy. Another awesome feature is you can actually install PhotoP to your computer by going up to more and clicking install PhotoP and just click install. This will make it so you can just search for Photopea on your computer and open it right up without going to the website. It is super awesome and I recommend using this because it gets rid of the URL bar so it looks cleaner as well. Another cool feature is you can actually bring in emoji straight from the app. So if you go over here to emoji, you can see a bunch of different emojis that you can bring into your design. So here's one and you can just scale it up and it is a vectored graphic from what it looks like so it doesn't lose quality when you make the picture bigger which is really handy and if you want to do like some different emojis for your thumbnails you can do that right here super easily and uh, I think that's a really awesome feature that a lot of people don't know about. This next feature is really cool for people that don't really want to go online and search for things. They want it right here in Photop. So you can actually search up images from within Photop by going over here to this little picture button. And you can actually search up a keyword, so like dog, for example, and you'll get a bunch of pictures of dogs that are really good quality that you can just click and bring into your canvas super easily. Good quality pictures that you can use for anything you want. And I think that is a really awesome feature that needs to be utilized more. Now let's say you made a big mistake and let's just say you accidentally made 15 square rectangle things. That's not a problem. You can actually go back in the history at the top right and you can just scroll up to your last um, edit which right here, delete layer, and you can just skip past all that without hitting control Z over and over and over. That is a super awesome feature as well. Now that's all I have for you guys today. If you want me to do a part two, let me down in the comments and also by liking the video and I'll know to make another one. Thank you guys for watching this video. It's a little bit different. If you enjoyed it, leave a like and subscribe. And if you like scary games, check out my scary gaming channel down in the description as well. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.